We're here at Little America, Marshall, Wisconsin. Definitely looking forward to that one. That looks really interesting. A lot of people here. Parking lot's very full. But that's not a bad thing. Just means that they're gonna be doing everything they can to operate all the rides. Don't plan on spending too much time here. Just wanna get in the uh, coaster credits and especially wanna get on that. There's not too many of these left in the world. So the Swiss toboggan. That's coaster number 335 for me. It wasn't that bad at all. I heard I heard some reports that these are not very good rides, but they're just different and interesting. That wasn't bad at all. There's nothing wrong with this at all. It's actually pretty cool. Get a little pop of air time there. Maybe a little bit right there. That was a fun ride, although I will say, if you are tall, that is gonna be a very tight fit. I mean, I'm not very tall, and the top of my head was hitting right up against the uh, padding on the top. And because of that padding on the top, you do, when on these airtime, these couple of airtime moments here, here, you will have your head thrown into that padding a little bit, but it doesn't hurt at all. It's just weird. Bit awkward, awkward riding position. Your, your legs are straight out in front of you. So your legs are straight out in front of you and you got not much room above your head. None at all if you're very much, if you're five and a half foot tall or over. But these uh, helixes right here, those are pretty cool. I didn't know, didn't know when it was going to stop. You don't have a very good field of vision because of how you're encapsulated in the cage. You only can see straight out in front of you, so until you hit that point, you don't know when you're going to stop going around the circle but it is a vertical lift hill in there, which was pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna come back and do that one a few more times. I got eight tickets, so I'm just gonna do all the other coasters once and then come back and do this one with all the rest of my tickets. Just row the Little Dipper Kitty Coaster. You are allowed to ride it. You can get an unlimited wristband here or you can do it by tickets. If you just want to get a, you just want to get one ride on most of them, then just do the single tickets. If you're looking for a full all-day experience, yeah, you'd want to do the wristband. But you get to go around twice on this. A, the seats are very uncomfortable. They are very hard. The lap bar is hard too. You actually do get airtime on this backside here. These, that airtime hill there and that airtime hill there. You actually do get airtime on this. But the seats are rather uncomfortable, so the airtime can kind of hurt. So you want to cushion the cushion yourself, cushion your stomach with your hand on the lap bar. Well, that's interesting. I knew they I saw the one ride over there. Realize they have three rides inside the kitty coaster. Inside the track of the kitty coaster, you got three kitty rides. That's pretty cool. You go under this tunnel.
It's a wild mouse with no seat belts, no lap bars. You can ride by yourself or you can do the two people where one is riding in the lap. Well, basically riding in the lap. That is the painful part right there where it drops down. And that's painful too where it drops down. <laughs> but it feels like you're gonna fly off the track on those last couple bunny hills there. And I have completed the park now because I also have ridden Meteor. So I've done all four coasters at the park. They also have a, a few flat rides. Now, if you're getting tickets, if you're doing it by tickets, three of the four coasters take one ticket. The wood coaster here takes two tickets. I guess they feel that Meteor is the star of the show. I think that Toboggan coaster is the star just because of how unique and different it is. But I could see the wooden one being more popular. And they let you go around multiple times. We went around, we went around three times on the wood coaster. So you get your money's worth. You do two tickets. You got to do two tickets, but you get three rounds with one ride. There's some minor airtime on it, but the thing is, you got buzz bars and no seatbelt. I've never done a buzz bars coaster where there was no seatbelt. That was interesting. You feel like you could just go flying right out of the car, but the airtime's not strong enough to send you out to fly out. And I don't know who in the world would want to ride this thing. Never. <laughs> No way, not for me. that'll do it from Little America. A nice little park. Be a great way to spend a day or a couple of hours. I ended up doing five rides on this and one ride on all the other coasters, which took nine tickets because the wooden coaster requires two tickets. The others only take one and it's a dollar fifty a ticket per plus tax. So not bad at all. If all you want is one ride on each of the coasters, you can get out of here and with a, with six bucks plus tax. But I would recommend getting more tickets and riding this thing more than once because it is just so unique. And there's nothing bad about it at all. It, it is definitely a cool ride. And I realized that car number one, car number one actually is not as, is not as short. The roof is not as short as it is in car number two. I don't know why that's different, but yeah, car number one, I had more headroom. Car number two, uh, my head was right up against the top padding. So yeah, I like car number one better for that. And tall people, taller people than me would certainly prefer that. But we'll see you at the next park. I'm sure you can guess which one that is. Got the dizzying turns and then you got the drop with airtime and then the rise back up with airtime. This drop doesn't give us a little bit of airtime before you get before you get uh, slammed back down. <laughs>